Hey family, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Saint Seraphim over here. We everything with truth and love. And that's on spare, period. Don't mind my hair. I had to wash it because it was getting real oily and just nasty. But it's also rainy outside, so I refused to do it. So I washed it and blow dried it. And my hair is humongous. Like it's ridiculous. But right, I'm sitting here eating. And I'm watching Netflix. And tell me why a wasp literally manifests out of fucking nowhere. Like, and it was like, usually it would be like up. Like in the window. This time it was like down near, like where, and it was black as fuck. So like, I couldn't see it basically. Like I just had to hear it. I heard it. And then I saw like a glimpse of it and I like jumped and I had to like basically trap it. Um... So that I could kill it. Now, usually with any type of bug, I trap that shit and I let it out. I let it back out the window. I let it live. Maybe not know what. Lately, I've been I've been letting the wasp live for a minute. It's time to start killing the motherfuckers. So it's like somebody's thinking they're somebody thinks they're about to pull up, and you're just gonna let them go. They're gonna you're gonna let them off the leash. No, it's a different regime now. They're about to get motherfucking slaughtered. Like, where am I? What you call it? I literally just had it in my leg. Oh, there it go. I'm about to say it's gonna too far. So this is about to get slaughtered. And I was listening to Slaughter Gang. I mean, not Slaughter Gang. Savage Mode. It is Slaughter Gang. But I was listening to Savage Mode too while I was like washing my hair in the shower and stuff. Somebody think that you just gone. They gonna attempt to come in and sting you and you just gonna let them go. That attempt is now an energetic exchange. The universe is like, oh, you don't wanna pay up? Cause you came in here with the intention to do harm. So yeah, we're not gonna we're gonna not gonna let you pay and then come back and try to do the same thing again. Try to find another way in so you can sting. Um no, no, that's not what's about to happen. Spirit is like, mm-mm, kill it. <laughs> Pick up and kill it and kill it and kill it. And I know I'm not tripping because usually it would be random flies manifesting in my room. This time it was a whole ass black ass wasp. And I know I'm not tripping because I trapped it and I had to take it all the way downstairs because that's where the wasp spray was. And my little, like, so my little sister could help me. And she got the wasp spray and like she could see it. So it's like, I'm not seeing things. I'm not, no, bitch. Nothing is a coincidence. Bro, don't, this is what I was talking about the other day with that King of Cups. Like, just because they send someone in, just because someone gets sent in offering money that you already have a connection to, that don't mean it's still not war. That's for you to let your guard down. That's for you to be caught the fuck off guard. Cause somebody is trying to infiltrate their way back in. They trying to slither their way back in. They had to run back out. But they like, oh, we gonna find another way in. Okay. Try that shit. Dare, the universe is like, I dare you. I bet you don't make it out this time. I bet you don't make it out this time. Somebody needs to be careful. This is a danger. This Mercury retrograde is so dangerous. Like, I don't think people understand, like, how ruthless the universe and karma are being right now. Like, the, 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 the gloves is off. Like, spirit is like, reveal yourself, bitch. It gives Aslan energy. Like, oh, you thought you was going to kill me? You thought you was going to lay me down on that table? Eight of one, eight of pentacles. With the five of cups, you thought you was going to lay me down on that table, have me struggle, do all the work for you. Then, you know, build up all this fear. And then you was going to sacrifice me and all of that energy was going to get transferred to you. And all that energy was going to get transferred to you. And then I was just going to be laying here helpless. Oh, no, let me. I'm going to let you do that. It's heavy. Yo, it's mad heavy resurrection energy coming out. I'm going to let you do what you're going to do. But then I'm going to let you see that that shit ain't phase me. Like, I'm about to get right back up. And I'm not going to be here when you get back. Narnia literally talked about that resurre the resurrection. And in the game today, while I was playing Maple Story, go subscribe to my gaming channel, I had to fight the Ice Queen. And then right before I got off the game, we was, like, figuring out how to uh, repair the ice structure, whatever, that, like, control basically the weather. 
Baby, and that's what happened in Narnia. The Ice Queen tried to kill Aslan. But it was a part of the prophecy, and Aslan knew. But he also knew, bitch, you gonna need you you gonna need me. And and when you when you least expect it, I'ma eat your motherfucking head off. He didn't let her get away at the end. He ate her ass. You, if you're a Lyran or anything like that, some it's like somebody's trying to trigger your south node, but they're actually triggering you're not in the NATO energy, you're in progress energy. So they're not gonna trigger your south node, they're gonna trigger your star system. <laughs> they're not gonna trigger your south node, they're gonna trigger your star system. Period. Which means triggering everything from your star system. That means other star seeds. That's everything. Tr this it, it's a it's a it's a celestial activation. It's a DNA activation. It's a 4D activation. It's a galactic. It's an intergalactic activation. All from some little itty bitty 3D shit. Bees and wasps. There's a difference between bees and wasps. There's a huge difference. I would let a bee out. A wasp only comes to kill, steal, and destroy. They lay, ne they create nests, and they aim to destruct. Cause them motherfuckers don't really be doing. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't trust wasps. If you, if you was meant to be trusted, God would have manifested you as a motherfucking bee. Bitch, you're a wasp. You're, you're out of here. And somebody's gonna get there. They've been identified as a wasp, but you let them live because it's like, oh, well, there are bees. But it's like, bitch, if it was, if, if they was meant to be here, they would be a bee. That's a wasp. Kill that shit. Right? Don't need, don't let it go back to its nest. End it right there. It always remind me of the cockroach off of the fifth element. When the, the roach was in the presidential uh, on the table, like listening to that conversation, he took his shoe off in the midst of the conversation and just smashed the shit out that nigga. Yo, oh my goodness, hold up. I'm about to show y'all the clip. I might get copyrighted, but who the fuck cares? Oh well. Um, This shit is so funny because that's literally what Spirit just showed me. I love that I have another phone that I could just like show y'all what I mean. Because it's like, you telling somebody, just stop. Or your guides. Somebody is being warned. to. They've been being warned for a really long time. And it's like getting to the point where it's like, it was leading up to like, look, bitch, you're going to lose your life. You don't keep, stop, you don't stop playing. Somebody want to keep playing. They like, all right, I'm going to keep playing, but I ain't just, I ain't going to let nobody else see it. I'm going to do slide shit in the background. I'm going to work on some slide shit in the background. Okay, and ain't nobody gonna know when your ass get knocked. So ain't nobody gonna come looking for you neither. Nope. Cause you wanted to be doing slide shit, so ain't nobody coming to look for you. You're just you're a goner after that. Um damn. What is this? The fifth the fifth element. If you never saw that movie, you should just watch the movie. Um Roach. A, the remote control, remote control roach. This shit is so funny. I gave all the stones to someone they could trust. Her name is Papa Lacuna. She's a diva. And she's going to sing at a charity ball in Flossen Paradise in a few hours. She has the stones with her. The Mondo she wants have accepted her All we have to do is send someone to get the stones. Excellent. <laughs> happen to somebody bitch there that shit is going to hurt it's going to hurt it's going to be painful this person is about to get some painful ass shit trying to come give a cup like oh let's celebrate oh give me the more messages oh help me complete the cycle help me go into hermit mode but this is an investment that they hope will work why what's the intention Getting protection to get back in to the 4D so you don't activate the 4D. So they can get in to come to you on the 4D. No. Getting your energy. 
Somebody is trying to moosey their way in your energy. You protect them while they're interfering in your energy. And they approach with two of cups. You over here minding your business, doing your work. Here they come. Here they come. Two of cups, three of cups. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. Because I know you, I know Devon going to give you messages and you're not going to not give the message. So I'm going to be able to hear the message too. I'm going to be able to see what happens when you go into hermit mode too. Now I want to see if you know what's the best, what's the best next best move to make. Bitch, ain't no next best move. Ain't no next best move. Somebody think they're going to astral project into your dreams. Okay. And so are your stars. So, so is your star system. They're going to manifest in the 4D and you're going to be home. Star system home. And everybody going to be looking around because you already know what the fuck is going on. Because they already initiated this. I don't, I'm not trying to make it, make it sound negative, but like, I don't think somebody understands the consequences of what they're doing. And they do, they just, they want to keep going. They just don't believe that they can be beaten. Like, it, the, the ego is, it, is inflated. It's inflamed at this point. <laughs> and inflammation, it's one thing to be... So for something to be inflated, but for it to be inflamed, that's not a good thing. It's not good for anything to be inflamed. Because that means it's pushing its capacity. This person think that... The hair font. They think they can handle being knocked outside the box. They think they can survive outside the box. They, they trying to take the pill to get out the matrix. Because they feel like, I'm telling you, this goes back to the escape plan. Somebody's trying to escape. Escape. I saw Icarus reference today, too, and everything. And then I was watching something, and they mentioned Icarus. Oh, I was playing a game, and they mentioned Icarus the same day that I made a reading about it. Y'all won't see that episode for a few days. Because um, I'm uploading over there every day. There's already an upload for today up there. But y'all won't see that. Y'all might not see that episode for like two or three days. But you hear me mention it. This is like... This is like the father. The, he sent the child out there. The child didn't make it. Icarus didn't make it. This is like Icarus is dead. Like, oh, I'm getting out of here one way or another. Um, no, the fuck you're not. I wonder what happened. I guess, does the story go on any further than that? What happened to Amanda Bynes? LOL. I, I, Karis. Dead. After I, Karis died. He fell. Oh, wait, 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 wait. After Icarus died, Daedalus mourned the loss of his son. Filled with grief and remorse, he decided to leave the island of Crete and, and embark on the new journey. With much grief, Daedalus went to the temple of Apollo in Sicily and hung up his own wings as an offering to never attempt to fly again. So many wings are about to be cut off. That could totally be it, because that was a wasp. Something with wings. It's like a demon is getting their wings cut off. Like you lose, like they had to earn them wings. It gives, what is it? <laughs> What's the movie? What's the job of it? Uh, it's on Netflix. It's like a cartoon show. The The intro music is like, mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Disenchantment. That's what it is. And how he had um Lucy had to inherit his wings. Somebody about to get somebody wings about to get cut. They was trying to cut your wings. They wings about to get motherfucking cut. It's like, bitch, you forgot you got wings too. 
You try to make me feel like I ain't have wings. That's because you ain't know. You was you ain't really know how to use yours. And I taught you how to use your wings by realizing I have wings. But what you was using your wings for, and the same thing I was using my wings for, bitch, you was trying to cut my wings. Your wings about to get cut. Like a chicken. Chickens can't fly. You you was a you was a you just soaring. You soaring through the sea. You soaring through the air. Somebody hates that. Like they like, bitch, how you get to be a fucking dragon? Fuck you. I'm about to kill the dragon. Bitch. The dragon ain't nothing. We're gonna kill the dragon. Bitch. If you watch Delicious in Dungeon, they killed the dragon and they resurrected somebody using meat from the dragon. And she was the fairy girl. Now she belonged to the dragon. Now, I don't know, I don't know how that's going to manifest later, but now she belonged to the dragon. And she got to complete. The, the point of the dragon was to protect the kingdom. The dragon has been resurrected in a new form, but that, that don't mean nothing changed. The dragon must still protect the kingdom. Somebody was trying to literally, like, and it's crazy because the same people who, like, killed the dragon, they're learning. It's, like, actively as the episodes are going. If you watch Delicious, Delicious and Dragon, it's on Netflix. I mean, Delicious and Dungeon, it's on Netflix. They're actively learning things about the dungeon as things are happening. Some of y'all should watch The Magi, too. I'm going to put that. I'm about to write that down. It's an Amazon. I mean, it's an Amazon. It's an anime called... That was Confirmation. The Magi, and they were in dungeons, and they had to go through the dungeon to find the djinn. It's like you're the djinn in the middle of the dungeon, but like, because you protect the dungeon, you keep it, whatever, something, somebody's trying to stop you from being able to protect something, they want to know what's your next move of protection. Like, they, it's like, basically, they want you, they, they're trying, somebody's trying to infiltrate, it's really simple. Um... The Magi. Somebody's trying to infiltrate. Because they want to know what you about to do next. Oh, they going to find out. That don't mean it's going to benefit them. That don't mean they're going to be able to even relay that information back. They might not make it back. Because if they had to fly to get to where you are, and their wings are being taken, that means they can't fly back. They're going to have to take that journey on foot. He went on a new journey. They're going to have to take that journey on foot. Ain't no flying back. Ain't no flying back. Ain't no flying back. Which means wherever you at, that's where they going to, that's where they, that's where the, yeah. Which means if you can fly and you can stop them from getting out. If you can stop them from getting out, then they're not going to get out. If if you if you are protecting and you decide that they don't deserve a new journey because you know they're gonna try to come back later, no, they're not gonna get a chance to come back. You're not gonna ban them. No, you're all you literally all there has to do is a choice be made. Because this person is now trying to um walk away from their karma. They're trying to walk away from their karma. They're, they have to get some type of karma. But now the new karma is them trying to... you. The karma was them escaping you in a past lifetime. In this lifetime, there there's a new karma. And you're not contractually bound to it. Because now this is something they have to learn how to do. Which is make the right choices so that they can walk out. And they're not being stopped from fucking leaving. Somebody's trapped in, their, in your story now. And you're not the one trapping them. They got themselves trapped. They got to figure out how to get out now. And it's going to take a few lifetimes. So if, if think about like, if you're immortal, you're going to always be able to recognize the patterns of this person every time. You already know the karma. They're the ones that are going to be spending their whole lifetime trying to figure that shit out again. And you're going to watch them some lifetimes not figure it out. Or maybe that's what it is this lifetime. It was never about you escaping them. It was all about them realizing that they're in your world. And realizing that their karma is that they got to do the right thing in order to get away from you. This lifetime, they, they fucked it up. 
they, they, yeah, they haven't learned. Not this lifetime. They still haven't learned. You learned. You realized it was your world. You realized it was you that had control. It was you that. It's a reason. It's a reason. You are a connection of source, which means you are an extension of source. Which means that they're not attacking you. They're trying to attack source. The fifth element was an extension of the diva. Of everything in the universe that was working to protect those stones. She was an extension and a manifestation of protection. And even her protector had to learn how to protect her. Because he had to learn to love But it was never about running away from anything. It was simply about protecting what someone you know they're going to chase. Because they've been chasing it for lifetimes. Here they are trying to chase it again. To implant themselves. Insert themselves. They're already implanted. They're already inserted. They're already in it. That's why they can't put themselves any further in it. The, the divine is like... You're asking for something that you already got. Now stop trying to steal energy. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a reassure you by telling you the absolute complete motherfucking truth so that you know your wish was fulfilled. <laughs> They're about to, somebody's going to have a dream. Oh my God. Or you might have a dream about this person and then tell them the dream and it's gonna be, it's like all gonna come back to them like fucking total recall. This could already be happening. Somebody could have had a dream about you. Or you could be realizing who's in that, like, you could have had a dream a while ago and you could be realizing now what that dream meant or what it was trying to tell you or what it was saying. Confirmation. But so does somebody else. And they only know what you tell them. They don't know anything outside of that. That's why whatever they're about to come in and try to do is going to be unsuccessful as fuck. So like, yeah, that energy can manifest as a wasp. But it's dead now, which means now it has to manifest as something else. Something else is not going to get killed upon injury. <laughs> it's like somebody not being able to break in your house okay so they manifest a, a bug in your house okay bitch see what happened to this bug it'll get crushed it will get crushed bitch and grounded back up and added back into the, the, <laughs> the, the cycle of energy stop playing six of one stop playing This is going to be a rip. This is literally, bro, you're, I don't want to say this is your sole purpose for whatever your next, like, journey in life, your next phase in life. But, like, it's like the last phase you were fighting for truth, clarity. This time you have truth and clarity. Now all you have to do is protect it. Protect what it is that you, somebody was trying to um, make you forget you were meant to protect. But now that you know you need to protect it, now it's like the next phase is like, this person's not going anywhere. You learned the lesson, they didn't. But the lesson wasn't about you getting away from them. It's about them getting away from you. So you always were doing what you were supposed to do. It's them that now has to figure, figure that shit out. But they've already, they've made you like an enemy or something like that. Like, or they just, they have a certain way that they think about you now. So it's like, they can't operate Without this information, they were operating in a specific way. They realized why operating in that way did not work because they learned new information. Now that they, knew, now that they know that new information, they feel limited in how they can operate because of the simple fact that they have to switch their intentions. They have to change their intentions. They have to change their intentions. I mean, have to. And they have to... They got to prove that they're aligned. 
They're not asking them for anything. They trying to come near you. They have to prove that they're worthy. This is your kingdom. They have to prove that you're worth. They have to prove to you that they're worthy of being able to stay in it. And you not, bitch, crushing them upon entry. Are they worthy or are they not? That's all based on their choices. That's actually something that we focus on for like a whole month in my um course, my six month course that I'm currently gonna be teaching. Registration is on my website and it closes on um the first day of tourist season, registration closes. You don't have to invoice me, you can literally just go on my website, pay for the course, and yeah. Really simple. And you'll get sent over all of the all of your things, you'll get an email from me. You'll get access to the Discord chat with the welcome message and all of the preliminary materials to review before the course starts. Ace of Wands, Ten of Cups. Somebody gotta figure out how to how they about to do that. So it's like one, they gotta figure out how to get back in your energy. Two, they gotta figure out how to be how to convince you to not to not like literally crush them upon entry long enough for them to figure out how to get whatever they need to like make whatever this is happen like they're trying to make sure like we good we good like all right yeah well i i i heard you doing this and i know i know i'm not gonna get it like i know you're not going like i know i know i i value your energy so i you know i just want to know what i what i gotta do and then you tell them what you got to do, what they got to do. And it's like, all right, all right, I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to make it happen type shit. I'm going to make it happen. Give me a second chance. <laughs> Somebody wants to take a chance. After they came and tried to sting. Mm. I feel like the universe is not telling you to give them a second chance. I feel like this is an opportunity for them to show the universe that they are worthy. Because it's really not about proving them themselves to you either. It's not about proving nothing to no other person because it wasn't that for you. It's not going to be that for them either. Even if this is your kingdom, this is the kingdom that they're being, an, uh, give, being given an opportunity to grow in in order to prove themselves worthy to the universe and to themselves. This is their second chance. But like I said, it's like you're the, you're the fucking... You're the captain. You're the drill sergeant. You make the rules. It's like the game is the game, but you decide the rules. And the divine will carry out the punishment. Whatever. You decide the rules, the divine carries out the punishment. It's your game now. They realize that they were never you were never stuck in their game. But now they're in your game and they gotta figure out how to um either win or break even. They got to figure out how to win or break even. It was like, yeah. You thought you were working for the devil, but the devil works for me. So who do you really work for? <laughs> this is like from Fury's low. He was like, be very, at, at the very end, he says something about, um, be careful about how you answer this next question. Who do you work for? Damn, if you didn't watch Furies on Netflix, you should watch that too. So, what did I say? The Magi on Netflix is an anime, and then Furies on, anime, on, on Netflix. And then The Fifth Element. Those are three movies. Well, a movie and two shows that you should watch if you've never seen any of them. If you have, go rewatch a little bit of them. This is Corbin Dallas. He thought she was new to his world. Like, no, bitch, I rule. You don't realize I'm a survivor. Uh, taking refuge, in, like, not even taking refuge. I'm in this world for a reason. I survived to protect what I was killed to protect in the last, like, I was, I died protecting it in the last lifetime. I'm here to protect it again. And your, your world just manifested me to do my job. 
It's giving Corbin Dallas. There's somebody in this that's Corbin Dallas. There's somebody in this who's Zog. Jorg, I meant. John Baptiste Emmanuel Zog. There's a there's a there's a Corbin Dallas here. And then there's a Zorg. And there's a Lilu. Either you're Lilu, you're Corbin Dallas, or you're the you're or you're the priest. Or you're the 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 dudes with the priest Aziz Light. Please go watch that movie, bro. Or you're the some of y'all are the diva. I feel like that's literally the movie. Uh uh, Miss Angel. Somebody is yelping, and she's not in pain. She's just in heat. Somebody is yelling for you to help them. Miss Angel, come here. Now, if I tell her to come here, she's gonna run away. She'll go back downstairs and make all that damn noise. It's like it's your kingdom. It's your it's your empire, right? But it's almost like whoever this is it almost hurts them to ask for help. They need it. Cause Corbin Dallas needed help, but he was like, he was just so like, ugh, in in his head, like, he was so macho. But he had trust issues too. So yes, you if you've never seen the movie, you should watch it. April Fool's Day. This is the joke. <laughs> I don't celebrate this day, but this is a joke. This is funny because there's a I used to talk to a guy whose birthday is today, and I always thought that was like, lol. Like, bro, I can never trust you. You're born on April Fool's Day. Like, I can never take you serious. It's not my fault. The universe planned it out like that. This is that type of energy. Like, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be a little hard for you to take this person serious because it's like, lol. I see, not that you don't have character flaws, but you're going to be able to see all of their character flaws that they can't seem to see. And it's like, oh my God. And it's like, bro, we're on a mission here. Like, you don't even know what's going on. <laughs> oh my God. You were sent to protect the protector. You think you know everything. Like, no. <laughs> you don't know everything. Like, you're learning. You have to learn. You have to learn. Now, y'all, obviously, y'all gonna be learning from each other because that's how it was with Lilu and whatchamacallit. But there is somebody in, in this mix that's trying to infiltrate, bitch. They, they, they roaching. They wrote this. It could be a friend. It could be somebody that ain't even physically present, sending monitoring spirits again. But this is the new mission, that fifth element shit. We've been talking about it for a while, too. This is like the new mission. And somebody is trying to figure out what your next moves are, though. That definitely is the inner... That's... Okay. We're going to pull on it. I'm going to clear this out. I literally felt like the, the fifth element was just, like, laid out in a few different... In a few... In, in that spread. Like, that was the whole movie right there. But, um... Who's this person trying to infiltrate Spirit? If we need to know. If it matters. If it matters to you, Spirit. Who's this person that's trying to infiltrate we can get any information on that if we need to. If it matters, if it means anything, if it's needed. Six of Wands, Nine of Swords. This is somebody on the outside. Because everybody in the circle has a wand. This is not somebody from inside. This is somebody hating from outside the club. The fucking creep. Hiding in the corner. Stalking. I said you're like Dexter. They're, they're Joe. They're really good at stalking. But so is Dexter. This is like the beginning of... This is like a... It's, I'm telling you, it's like a crossover. It's like a Santa Claus and Jack. They might be Santa Claus. They think... They think oh, yeah. They might be Santa Claus. But compared to Halloween Town, bitch. Santa Claus is like a fucking... A cute 
fairy tale. Uh, and everything from Halloween Town terrified them people. That's what this is. They're Santa Claus, you're Jack. And this person gonna eat. You gonna have to save them from the boogeyman. <laughs> you gonna end up having to save their ass from the goddamn boogeyman. Cause they about to see this nigga. They are on the they are on the road towards the fucking boogeyman. Like the Wiz and Eveline. Eveline just so happened to be the boogeyman. The Wiz was like Santa Claus, and Dorothy was basically Jack. Or really, Sally was. Like Dorothy was Dorothy and Sally were like the same energy. But that's why it's long. The next book is Long Live the Pumpkin King Queen. Oh, I gotta write that down. We have to watch that. We gotta read that. I gotta buy that book. I'm gonna put it on my wish list if anybody else wants to buy it for me. But I gotta buy that book in the month of April, and I'm gonna read it, and I'm gonna do a book vlog on my book vlog channel. Long live the Pumpkin Queen, cause that comes up in the readings every now and again. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely go buy that. Sometime this week, I'm a, I'm a vlog it actually. I'm a, I'm a go to the bookstore and I'm a buy it. So don't buy it for me. I'ma just go buy it. But just be prepared. So subscribe to my vlogging channel, my book vlog channel, which is also listed down below, so we can talk about it. Cause we gonna get it too. We definitely gonna get into it. Page of Cups. We're going to review shows over there, too. So, we might as well review the Magi. And then... um, I'm not going to do the Fifth Element because it's a movie. Uh, What's the other thing that I referenced? I can't remember. It doesn't matter, I guess. The Fool... The Nightmare Before Christmas. Watch that if you've never seen it. The Odyssey. Something about the Odyssey too, but I feel like that's gonna be a whole nother reading. But that connects to the um where I was talking about like the the law of the the ways of the water versus the law of the land, maritime law. Mm. If you've never seen Water World, you should watch that. That'll have some downloads in it for you. Tell me more about this page of cups. Oh, whoever this person is, they're a page. And they're like approaching, I feel like they're approaching you as if you're a page too. With the three of cups and the four of pentacles. It's like, oh, I'm new, you're new here? I'm new here too. And it's like, no, nah, I'm not new here, but I ain't gonna tell you that. <laughs> Seven to one. Bro, they're like, they're, it gets Harry Potter and Draco. It's like, you're Harry Potter and they're Draco. They already got beef. Cause you ain't gonna wanna be their friend. Or this this is somebody who's realizing this is like Draco at the end realized like, you know you chose the wrong side, right? You know if I don't save you, you know I could let you die, right? <laughs> like, you know I could literally just I could squash you or just let you get squashed. This before the swords, the strength, the star, the knight of wands in the world, you know I could let you get squashed, right? Cause you chose. You chose the other side. Okay, they're going to come in on some dueling ass energy. I'm telling you, somebody's trying to come in and sting you, but they need you. They're trying, they want, to, that's, they want to do that so bad, but they really need you. Like, they know that's not going to be successful. It's like trying to force their way in instead of like doing what they need to do to get in. But like, they're going to get figured out. So they're going to have to do, like, they're going to have to pay the price. They're going to have to make the offer. They're going to have to, um apologize they're gonna have to do whatever it is that they have to do because at the end of the day that's the only way they're gonna learn the lesson like that's part of learning the lesson understanding that you have to come with genuine intent we was talking about this in the rest of the readings coming with genuine intent somebody is like they know spirit is telling them you gotta move forward with genuine intent and they're still not believing that shit it's like they just want they want to get smacked 
Like, they're not even asking for a sign. You know how some of us ask for a million signs? And spirit be like, no. It's like spirit is sending this person signs and they're not listening. So spirit is like, okay, I'm going to just let you keep getting in a fucked up situation after fucked up situation. I'm going to let this person keep fucking you up and fucking you over. And you could be looking at me like, why you, they could be looking at the universe like, why you keep letting this happen to me? Because you do realize that you got negative intentions. So you can't be mad when you get confirmation of sirens. You can't be mad when you keep getting these stupid ass prizes. I'm telling you to change your intention. Bitch, it's simple. Change the intention. Shift your focus. Because other, otherwise... It's going to be an episode of fucking Get Out. And not the good kind. The magician with the nine of cups. Like, bitch, don't stop playing. Somebody really need to stop playing. Because spirit is literally like, the gloves are off now. There are things you might not have been able to do in the last season because you were still training. You might have been under investigation. You're not anymore. Because you've been proven innocent. And you were given a kingdom. Confirmation. And you've been given a kingdom. Authority. You can be trusted with your kingdom and your authority. Which means that a lot of shit that this person don't know, they, I don't even think they know you're in charge. Or they think you don't know you're in charge. I know they don't know what the fuck is going on, though. They have no fucking clue. And they're going to find out really quickly. But it's going, like, you're going to have to smush the fuck out of this person. They'll re they'll 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 resurrect. Like it's not gonna kill them. It's gonna make them stronger. So like spirit is not telling you to harm nobody. Don't and don't set no intentions to harm nobody because like you can. Like don't be on that shit. Don't don't become them. Cause that ain't what spirit told you. Like don't be exaggerating shit. Don't be on that. But let them let them hit their head. Like a kid. Let them hit their head a few times. Let them fail a few times. They'll figure it out, and they'll catch up. And when they do, they'll be able to ask as many questions as they need. But until then, they're going to have to figure that shit out on their own. And so it is because of this family, I share.